everyone. Even if, even if you aren't a scientist, total, total solar eclipses can be fascinating. Watching the sky go dark in the middle of the day. Humans from ancient history thought solar eclipses were auspicious events. The ancient Chinese thought that monsters were eating the sun and they would bang noises to try to get the sun back. The earliest predictions of a solar eclipse were in ancient Mesopotamia around the 1100s BC. In 1868, a total solar eclipse of us find helium. Helium was detected in the sun before it was detected on Earth. A solar eclipse in 1919 helped us prove, found the first evidence supporting Einstein's theory of relativity. It's an interesting coincidence. The sun is about 400 times bigger than the moon, but it's 400 times further away. So the sun and the moon appear to be about the same size in the sky. If the sun were, if the moon were closer, if the moon were smaller or further away, total solar eclipses would never be able to happen because the moon would not be big enough to cover the sun. If the moon were larger or closer, the moon would cover a larger area of the sun, sky than the sun. The moon is slowly getting further away from the earth by about an inch and a half, three centimeters per year. Hundreds of millions of years from now, the earth, the moon will have moved so far away from the earth that it would no longer be big enough to completely cover the sun. So hundreds of millions of years from now, there will be coverage of the last total solar eclipse visible from Earth. Bye.